Hello and welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today we're going to be looking at setting up your Rico printer for sublimation. So before this video I assume that you've already plugged in, turned on and installed your printer onto your computer. And what we're going to be doing today is changing the printing preferences so that we have all the correct settings ready for sublimation printing, whether that's mugs, t-shirts, whatever. So to start with, if you're on Windows 10 and you don't have a start menu, you can type in printers here and open devices and printers on the control panel. Or alternatively, we'll go start and printers. Now today we're going to be using this example Rico printer, but yours is probably called something like Rico Officio SG2100N or SG3110DN or SG7100. So we'll right click on the printer and select printing preferences. And then we'll have this box pop up. Now, obviously all of these settings are included with our printers and profiles as a PDF, but some people prefer videos, so that's what we're doing today. And we'll have a bit more explanation about why we're choosing these settings as well. So to start with, it'll come up on the basic setting. Obviously, that's not quite right for us. So the first change that we're going to make is the print quality. It's going to be high quality. And that'll just enable us to print photos and images so they look nice on the finished product. And paper type, some people like changing this to others, but we tend to stick with plain paper. We've found that it gives the best quality print without putting too much ink down on the page. If you choose something like glossy paper, then sometimes there's just too much ink for the paper to absorb and it can bleed out and look a bit fuzzy around the edges. So we've got plain paper and high quality. And next we're going to go into the detailed settings tab up here. And along the top, we've got this bar with various different options. We're going to come along to the print quality box. And then we've got all these lovely options here. Now, there's only really one that we need to change here. That's the color profile. We're going to turn that off because it'll be handled by our image editing software. Whether that's Photoshop, Coral Draw, Affinity Designer, or there's many, many programs that you can have. Those are just some examples. And all of these other settings are absolutely fine. So we'll now go and click register current settings. We'll give it a name. I'm going to call this A4 sublimation. Click OK. And all that does, if we come back onto our one-click presets box, is it gives us an option to choose here of A4 sublimation. So if we accidentally change so we accidentally change it to black and white or any of the other settings. We can get straight back to our recommended settings just by clicking A4 sublimation. And then we'll click apply to save those settings and click OK. So next time you come to print anything, it will have chosen these A4 sublimation settings by default. And that is how you set up your Rico printer for sublimation printing. Uh, if you are using Photoshop or any of the other programs, then do check out our video on setting those up for ICC profiles and our recommended settings on those as well. Thank you.